What were your first thoughts when you found out that you were going to be out of work? Well, it wasn't a surprise. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you could see the face down. You could mm -hmm. see what, they, what was happening. I think one of the first things I did was uh, try to plan for it mm -hmm. as much as I could. Uh, I got the civil service rating and I went through there. I, I did some work uh, re rewriting my resume. Mm -hmm. uh, I did no you know, overt action as far as uh, mm -hmm. you know, looking. I still had a job. And, uh, but I was sure that uh, hard times were coming, so mm -hmm. I started to take some steps. Mm -hmm. Now, you were laid off in, in May or June of 1971? Right, the uh, end of May. Mm -hmm. How does this affect your ego? I mean, what does this do to you personally to be out of work for now four or five months? It's a, it's a real blow on your ego. It, it really is. Uh, so you can, I guess you can take it two ways. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always had a, a history of, of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. You know, I, when I started something, I finished it. And uh, when, I, when, I, when I went after something, I got it. You know, and uh, here's a situation where, you know, you, you know, where do you go? Uh, you can run in circles. So the thing is, is to, to try harder. And the route that I've taken was, one, is to keep up my own job search uh, in the regular resume route and getting interviews. Uh, the second one, as we mentioned earlier, is uh, going to at school at night. And, and the third was uh, working in this invest organization. Um, your wife is employed, is that correct? Right, she started working three weeks ago. Yeah. So what type of work does she do? Uh, she's in the record section mm -hmm. of the hospital. Had she ever had to work before, or is this the first time since you've been married? Well, this is the first time since we've been married. Mm -hmm. uh, One thing I wanted to ask you, uh, in, in terms of your everyday life, has unemployment caused you to stop doing certain things, stop spending money on certain things, not having certain kinds of entertainment? Yes. Uh, you know, you sit back and you look at a budget that you have, and, uh, you know, you have your your payments to make and your food to eat. Uh, however, you know, you don't buy a, a side of beef and keep the locker, mm -hmm. because uh, while it may be cheaper that way, you don't want the cash outlay. Mm -hmm. So it becomes, uh, you don't, you don't need as as well as you'd like to, but uh, you prepare your food better. What, what about your children? Have, have you had to tell them that there's certain things that they can't do now? Right. Uh, you know, but then, then again, uh, we've, as I said, we talked to them about it, and they know it, but they, they still ask, and we still refuse, but then again, uh, they know why, mm -hmm. so it's not, not as... Uh, as uh, as hard on them because of the knowledge that they have. Mm -hmm. Even though they're fairly young, they, they have an appreciation. Well, they know. They go through it. Uh, just the family relationship that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, you become, you, they know when each other's hurting. And uh, also, yes. Mm -hmm. Would you take another job in the aerospace field or would you prefer to get away from that field? Well, I'd rather stay out of aerospace. I think, uh, I'm, I'm looking for a career, and uh, you know, I, I don't think aerospace is for me, really. Would you leave the Dallas-Fort Worth area if you, if you had a choice in the matter, if you had a, a reasonably good job offered here, but somewhat of a better job somewhere else? Well, uh, again, you're, we're looking at a career. Uh, I bought the home mm -hmm. uh, when, I, when I moved here, and... Uh, I like it, my wife likes it, my children like it. I think it's a real nice place to live. And uh, I would like to stay here. But uh, if the opportunity avails itself, uh -huh. and I'd have to leave. Uh -huh.